guys, it's me, Tommy, and I'm back again with another video. Last video, I showed you guys my detailed step-by-step -step tutorial on how I made this unit with a sewing machine. I did tell you guys that it was my first time making this wig with a sewing machine, so I had a lot of ups and downs with it. But I also promised you guys that I was gonna show you guys exactly how I installed this wig. So if you wanted to know how I made this beautiful wig look like this, then obviously just keep on watching. So the products that I'm gonna be using for this video is from Got To Be. I'm gonna be using the free spray as well as the glue slash gel. I'm going to do the bald cap method by adding a stocking cap onto my head. Then I'm applying the free spray so that the stocking cap can lay in place. Now I'm only doing the free spray just in the front of my head because this wig is a closure, not a frontal. So I don't need to add it to my entire perimeter. After rubbing it in and making sure that it's nice and dry, I'm gonna cut off the excess cap and then I'm gonna apply the glue to my head. Now, please excuse my braids. It's been a while, <laughs> so please don't pay attention to that. So I'm gonna take that elastic band, I'm gonna put that around my head because I'm gonna use that to set my wig after I apply this got to be gel onto my hair. Again, I'm only doing it where the closure starts and ends. And then once the clear, the gel gets nice and clear, I know that it's tacky, I'm going to go ahead and apply my wig onto my head. Once my wig is in place, then I'm going to lightly use my finger pads to press the lace into the glue. And I do it lightly because I don't want the oils from my fingers to transfer onto the glue because it tends to turn it white, especially with the yellow bottle I've got to be. And then I'm gonna follow up with the comb part of my edge brush and I'm gonna use that comb part to press the lace a little bit more into the gel. Now, if you have some areas of your lace that did not go into the gel, like if you didn't place the gel correctly, you can always just take just a little bit of glue with your fingers and put it right where the lace needs to stick, let it get tacky, and then press it in. Now I'm gonna use my hot comb just to press out my closure a little bit more so that it lays down flat right in that area. And then once I lay it flat, then I'm gonna use that elastic band that I have around my head to set my lace into my glue. I really like using this method because it's temporary, but still a little sturdy. You can always just use some water to just rinse it off and take the, the glue. Um, slash gel <laughs> off your forehead and you can just keep doing it every morning. It takes about five minutes to do. Um, the night before I did wet the closure so it can lay down a little bit flat. So the curls in the closure did loosen up. So I'm just using my Remington curling wand to just add some loose curls to it so that it can blend with the natural wave pattern of these bundles. And if you're wondering, I'm wearing two and a half bundles of 16 inches along with a 16 inch closure. And um, that's basically it, guys. I really like this look. It's very natural, um, very tossy schmossy. The only thing is that I really wish um, I did a really good job with this wig. It looks like I did a good job, but technically it's so bulky. If you guys um, didn't watch my first video on how I made this unit, um, it was my first time, so it looks like it's laying on flat, but the back is really bulky. I didn't like it, so I'm gonna keep trying. I'm gonna keep trying my best to just be a pro at it because I always like to learn new things. But if you guys have any questions on applying this wig or making this wig, um, you can leave them below. And in my end slate, I'm going to link the video on how I made this unit in case you guys didn't check it out. Um, thank you so much for liking, comment, and subscribing to my channel, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.